everybody welcome to another video um so in today's video um these nails are dedicated to my son Kason. um back in 2018 brad and i found out we were pregnant um and when i was about six months pregnant some things happened and i ended up giving stillbirth to a beautiful baby boy um he did not make it obviously he was stillborn um so his anniversary um for that day is june 4th um i recorded these probably like june 1st or june 2nd um and while i'm doing the voiceover it is june 5th um, so every year I like to do a little nail set for him, um, and, and then we, you know, do our own celebrations for him and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that, um, here on YouTube. Um, that's a vulnerability that I will not get into because if somebody tries to throw that back in my face, I will absolutely shut their shit down and they will see a side of me that I do not want YouTube to see. It happens, people. People will use your vulnerability that you have gotten honest with against you. Okay? So, just just, just be mindful of that, guys. Anyway, so, um, I forgot to show these colors. They're all Glam and Glitz colors and they all glow. Um, the glitter is one of my favorite most favorite glitters um that glows i'll put them in the description box the names of them um and then this blue so this blue marbles quite a bit um and it is it works better when you kind of paint it on how i'm doing right now um some colors you can use bigger beads and kind of just bring them down the nail and you know, use them kind of how you would use like a nude um, acrylic. This, on the other hand, you can see the marbling right there. Um, and so it's more or less you work really wet beads and then you kind of paint it on. Um, and so that's what I'm doing here. It was different doing this. Like I'm used to, you know, getting a little bit bigger beads and then waiting for it to polymerize. And then, you know, just definitely working with it different. But yeah, do what you gotta do. Um, so anyway, I put some glitter on the thumb and the pinky to do a peekaboo nail. Um, and do these nails glow so freaking bright? I love them so much. Um, sorry if I sound a little tired, guys. I am absolutely exhausted. My eyes are swollen from crying. Um, and me and the hubby just had a very exhausting day yesterday um and it's still just kind of um lingering over into today really um so anyway um uh these nails were fun to do i recorded my other hand as well and those will be coming out after this um and i stuck with the same kind of glitter and um that other light kind of color that you'll see in here so they just kind of matched and flowed together um but anyway so these were definitely fun um and yeah i will um just kind of let you guys watch some of this application um this is definitely an acrylic design and then i do some stuff after and with these nails, I couldn't, like, I was, I didn't have a plan with them. I just knew what colors I was going to use. And so I was just kind of going with the flow. Um, and so if I didn't know what I wanted to do yet on the other nails, I went in and I capped it, the nails that were already done. And I also did that because with this monomer, I'm using dynamic um, nail supply monomer in this video. Um, and I'm, I'm basically done with it. And so I'm going back to my glam and glitz. Um, but this dynamic monomer really leaves like a, a weird, like sticky kind of greasy, oily, like residue, like on my skin. Um, and then almost the nails get kind of like 
sticky. Like if you've ever worked with an odorless monomer and it leaves kind of like that, that like sticky layer that you have to file off, Dynamics monomer does something similar, just not as, um, not as much, but everything sticks to it. And so if I am encapsulating nails, I don't like to do it at the end because by the end of doing the rest of my nails, I have so much lint and dust and hairs and just little things stuck to it, um, stuck to the nails. So I really just try not to do that. Um, so yeah, and this one I ended up just kind of capping as I went. And then as you see, I'm coming back here on my thumb. Um, it was, these were, these take a while to dry. They were definitely slower setting. So, um, I wanted to add more to it, um, but I needed it to dry first. So, um, and then I'm using my Mia Secret to cap these nails. Um, and I'm using my Koopa size 10 brush. I don't use this brush very often. Um, it's a nice brush, but it was crimped slightly off. And so it, it just, I don't know, it messes with me sometimes, but, um, anyway, my dog needs in. She is telling me, let me in. Um, but anyway, so that's what I'm doing with these nails. Um, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I, uh, I just kind of do acrylic designs. I do some peekaboo nails, some solid nails, and some ombres. Um, and yeah, I will let you guys go ahead and just kind of watch this for a little bit, listen to some music, and chill. Um, and then I will pop on when I feel like I need to.
All right, guys. So I am back for the filing. Um, I feel like I've shown my filing so many times. I mean, it is in every video. Granted, we do have new people um, constantly coming to my channel. So I do show the full process. I just only show the first three fingers <clears throat> of each step. So right now I have a 60-60 grit nail file that I got. It's a dynamic um, nail supply nail file. It's a really good grit for shaping, debulking, all of that. Um, and I always start with the underneath and then my side walls. And then I start at like how I was going from like the side down to the side wall. And then I go over the middle to just kind of smooth everything out. Um, and I'm constantly looking at my nails from different angles. Um, and I, I keep the same filing routine. So I always start out the same and I, and that way when you have a routine of where you lay your beads and how you file your nails, um, at least for that foundation, it helps them look the same. Um, and so that's what helped me with my shaping and stuff. And so I just do what I can with this um, file right here. I don't worry about the cuticle or anything up there. I just strictly worry about my my shape and then like the structure of the nail, make sure there's no lumps and bumps, whatever, whatever, you know, as much as I can. Um, and so I do that for these next two nails and then I will um, do the next part of my filing routine. So since I used this, um, 60, 60 grit, normally I'll just use my hand file and then I go to my E file and then I do my sandy band on the E file. So, but because I'm using the 60, 60 grit, it's putting deeper scratches in. So after I do these three nails, that you guys see I go in with um, a 100 grit and I'm not sure if I'm using the 100 grit side or the 180 side but I go in with that file um, and just go over the nails quickly to kind of soften up some of those scratches um, and then I was just kind of getting as you saw under there like it would kind of get stuck under there so I just kind of flick it out and it was with that dynamic monomer and it's almost like kind of like that weird gummy uh texture stuff that gets stuck under there so anyway so that's what I do here and um I am just gonna let you guys watch um the rest of my filing um and then I'll be back I did um put stickers on and I totally spaced on recording it um, so it goes from filing to then you see the stickers. So my bad. Um, yeah, I totally forgot. I didn't realize it until it was too late. Um, but I will explain the stickers and all of that stuff. Um, so if you've made it this far, thank you very much for all of your guys' support. Um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. I enjoy interacting with everybody. Um, I think I'm going to start in the next couple videos doing a, um, the first, either the first, second, and third, or the first person to comment, um, on a video on the following video I will do a shout out and screenshot their name and their comment um just something kind of fun for you guys um to look forward to in the videos and stuff so um anyway I just wanted to touch base with all of that thank everybody and I will hop back on in a bit
All right, here are the stickers. So on my ring finger, I have the wings, of course, for my angel baby. And then I have three roses. The center rose is for Kaysen, and then the two side roses are for me and his father, Brad. Um, I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to overdo it and make it almost look like some junk nails. Um, and so, yeah, I kept it simple. I kept it sweet. Um, and then I'm going in with my Madam Glam top coat. I have a 35% off code with Madam Glam. It's Rachel35. It will also be up on the screen and in the description box. Um, if you guys want to use that, it's a very good top coat. I love it. It's my go-to. I use it now for all of them. And their nail arts are great. Anyway, moving on. Um, so I kept these pretty pretty simple and they glow super freaking bright. Um, I absolutely love glow nails and this glow acrylic. So all, all three of these acrylics that I used on this hand glow and they glow super freaking bright. Um, so anyway, I will show you guys what they look like. Um, top coated and then what they look like when they are glowing. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye.